So the problem nowadays is you have all kinds of devices, right? You have uh, Kindles, iPad, iPhone, an Apple Watch, and these are all different screen resolutions. What may look okay on a browser on your Mac 27 inch is gonna look a lot different on all these other devices. So how do you test that? For visual testing, we use Apple Tools Eyes, and that's really useful in that we have a, a saved baseline of what we expect the site to look like on all the pages. Uh, we uh, compare against it every day when we ship, and Apple Tools will automatically tell us if there are any differences. I'm very passionate about testing, so I think for me, it, it gives us a little bit more comfort level. Everybody's feeling more confident when we're actually releasing apps now. We know that we're rock solid. What I love about Applet Tools is the ability that um, we can now run automated visual validation tests and actually get accurate results. As a software engineer, you want to not break anything, and you, you want to be able to be bold. Apple Tools and visual testing is the icing on the cake that lets you do that. It really uh, lets you feel like when you're going to push the button to, to release your code to production that, that you're not going to get paged later. I love to simplify and have things automated so that the people can be working on the new stuff and not have to repeat the same tasks each week. Just being able to see the side-by-side -side screenshots, a whole bunch of stuff that we don't actually think of, and we get that added benefit from Apple Tools. We're excited about it. Save yourself a whole lot of time and just use the best possible solution, which is extremely affordable. Without Apple Tools would be painful. Save yourself the hassle, sign up for a simple account to get started and kick the tires, and you'll just be blown away.